Archer is one of the best classes up there with Mage. It is also one of the most commonly chosen classes and for a good reason. In today's video, I'm going to go over every single dungeon floor and the proper setup you need. This will include armor, weapons, and pets, so let's get right into the video. Before we start the guide, I just want to say that the Archer class is not very good for the earlier floors, this being anything before floor 4, but I'm still going to go over all of them in case you are set in stone about picking Archer. Anyways, let's get on with floor 1. On this floor, you're going to want to use strong dragon armor, all with fierce reforge on it. For your weapon, you want to use an artisanal shortbow with a hasty reforge. And as for your pet, I recommend using either a common griffin or a rare enderman. Both will work on this floor. Moving on to floor 2, you will want to use the skeleton grunt armor as the damage buff is very beneficial and you can start before reaching catacomb 12. The only downside is the effect of HP, so you want to change your pet to a rare blue whale, or if you're struggling with money, a common will also do. I also recommend getting the Wand of Healing and the Zombie Sword as these are great for healing and will stick with you for the rest of the game. Your weapon can stay the same. When moving up to Floor 3, the armor can stay the same, but your bow needs to be upgraded into a Renan's bow, again with the Hasty Reforge. You should also look into getting an Epic or Legendary Wither Skeleton pet now, as this will heavily increase your damage. Now moving on to Floor 4, when the Archer class will really start to take effect. You're going to need quite a high budget for this floor, so if you need some extra money, you can check out my money making methods in the top right corner. To start off, you're going to want 3 4th Shadow Assassin gear with a Zombie Knight chestplate. However, if you don't have a Floor 5 completion yet, you can use a 2 4th Skeleton Master armor and 2 4th Adaptive armor. The Reforges should all be ancient, but if money is a huge issue, you can stick with Fierce. I also recommend upgrading your Wither Skeleton pet to Legendary if you haven't already. As for your bow, you're going to want a Juju Shortbow, which requires Ender Slayer 5. I heavily recommend buying carries until you get to Slayer 5, as the grind really isn't worth it. If you aren't able to get the Juju, you can use the Spirit Shortbow for now. For the Reforge, you want Spiritual instead of Hasty. Moving up to Floor 5, you want to change your Zombie Knight Chestplate for a Shadow Assassin Chestplate, and use a Golden Livid Head instead. When you reach Floor 6, you need to get the Juju because anything below won't work. You should have the Spiritual Reforge on it, as well as Soul Eater 5 and Overload 5. If you aren't able to afford these yet, you can get lower versions, but 3 is the minimum you should be using. Your pet can remain the same unless you are really struggling with health. In this case, you can use a blue whale. Your armor can stay the same, but if you get the floor 7 completion, you can switch to 3 4 Necron armor and a golden sedan helmet. Many people will also switch the boots for maxer boots for the extra speed boost. Finally, when you get to floor 7, you want to use 3 4 Necron and a golden Necron head. You should be using a blue whale pet to clear out the rooms, but switch to your legendary wither skeleton during the boss fight. A maxed out juju with overload and soul eater 5 will work here, but it is recommended to get the terminator as soon as possible. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I plan on posting more dungeon gear guides, so leave a comment letting me know what class I should do next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.